Innovative minds are putting their efforts into making California's salad bowl of the world the tech future of farming. Plastic bottles make you nauseous. Using public transportation's awesome. Solar powered everything. No cell phone, just cups and strings. You make your t-shirts out of grass. You kick the cars that guzzle gas. Understand. Use cartons, man. Be a Tetra Pak fan. Just about an hour's drive south of Silicon Valley lies Salinas Valley, an area where, thanks to an ideal climate and fertile soil, is referred to as the salad bowl of the world. But now, just like its tech hub neighbor, this ag center is relying more on innovation than ever before. For starters, the area was hit hard by California's recent drought, which has spurred more investment in new technologies to help farmers understand soil types and improve moisture. Furthermore, farming fresh produce is labor intensive, more so than other crops like corn and wheat. And with the declining availability of farm labor and a growing demand for healthy fresh produce, producers in the Salinas Valley are leaning on the tech world to help them think outside the box. The Thrive Accelerator Program is one new program in the area. With more than a dozen mentors in the industry, access to real world conditions and real world farmers, this program is designed to lure startups and cultivate a farming tech cluster. One of their 10 finalists is the Boston-based Harvest Automation, a 30-person firm that's making robots to do the work. We started in the back of my house back in the day. The genesis of this whole thing was my meeting Joe Jones, our CTO and another one of the co-founders of the company. We decided that it was time to start a, a new robot company that would do something different. In the nursery and greenhouse sector in specific, they've been trying to automate and mechanize some of this labor for a long time. But these are guys who are usually second and third generation farmers and they know the industry inside and out. And we showed them our first product and they just went gaga and said, that's it. You've solved the problem, this is going to be great. The way that we program these robots is using a system called behavior-based robotics. And we use behavior-based programming because it's very responsive to what's in the world. Timing is everything. We're farmers, we're at the mercy of Mother Nature. And so when it's time to do it, you have to do it. We describe our robotic platform as smart, practical, and sustainable. These robots are smart because they can sense their own surroundings, they can navigate autonomously, they can move goods from, from A to B, and they can gather information while they do that work. They're practical because they can be used within existing environments, sometimes unstructured environments, and sustainable because customers are using our robots to have a predictable, consistent way to get their work done. Investors are recognizing the needs of the Salinas Valley and therefore taking note of the innovations that are emerging here. This salad bowl of the world is on its way to becoming the most tech-savvy ag center that exists. Thanks for checking out this week's innovation video sponsored by Tetra Pak. Subscribe to The Lemper Report to watch more videos just like this. Also, visit supermarketguru.com. Visit becartonsmart.com and you'll see how others are using cartons as a small step to big good.